Hey y'all, Dan with Southern Patter Channel. Today I'm on the Elk River, North Alabama, and I am paddling to what I hope will be a camp spot. <laughs> Haven't been here before, just kind of scouted it on Google Maps. It is TJ land, so camping is permitted, but whether it's feasible <laughs> is an entirely different question. So I will find out here shortly. I will check with y'all when I get to camp or as I'm paddling back to the truck. <laughs> Okay, found my camp for the night. Pretty nice spot. The problem is, <laughs> it's a pretty nice spot. <laughs> Too nice. Somebody apparently keeps this cleaned off. And uh, there's a few signs of people being here, but just the biggest thing is, I mean, because you can look and you can see the, the growth. That's just what this, I'm on an island. And that's what it should look like out there. But this spot right here, is uh, nice and clean. And the reason is, is because this is a, about the only spot to get on this island, you can tell. So this is uh, where my foot is right here. This is a normal bank. Where my boat is, all that's normally underwater, um, or pretty close to it. And you can tell it drops off quick. So not a, and that's like a two foot drop from the, from the bank to that first little level spot. But anyway, hopefully, Whoever uh, cleaned this off will not want to come here tonight and <laughs> utilize it. Even though it's public land, so nobody can claim it. But still, you know, I've talked about this in other videos. I hate going to spots where other people go. But I've not been here before. Not launched from where I did launch this evening. Not been on this island before. Not been on this stretch of the river. It's all new. Sun is <laughs> already behind the trees, so I ain't got a lot of time. Do have uh, two really good trees perfect to hang my hammock and uh, so that's gonna have to go there so i'm gonna get my shelter set up and then try to find some uh, firewood there's and again from people being here i don't see a fire ring or pit but there's just not a lot of what looks like good stuff to burn so and i didn't bring as much as i normally bring of store-bought so i've got to do a little work so i'm gonna get started on that and i will check back in a little later Okay, I've uh, got my fire going, got my shelter set up. Did, I, I'm going with the rain fly tonight because there's a chance of rain late tomorrow. Not much tonight and not much tomorrow morning, just mostly tomorrow afternoon, but still better safe than sorry since it's, there's a chance of it. Anyway, fire's uh, starting to really take off now. There is, uh, see, I'm, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> There's, man, that is bright. I don't know how that looks on camera. Okay. Um, there wasn't a lot of firewood on this little island. Um, what I found was pretty rotten. A lot of it's kind of damp because I think the, the island floods from time to time. Um, even though there's no real danger of that tonight or tomorrow, but um, there you can just tell there's just, it's just, there's wet wood, wet ground here and there. So anyway, but uh, I've got enough to, you know hang out for a little bit i just 
it may not I may not have a roaring fire but I'll keep a little flame going but yeah that's okay I'm going to work on supper now okay so I'm doing the peak refuel sweet pork and rice I think I've had it before I think it has a little spice to it I'm not big on spicy food but again uh, crazy week really didn't have time to prep I had most of my stuff together for my last trip and uh, and so I just did a little bit of you know getting a few things together and throwing it in my truck and taking off and plus this place is further than the last two places I've been camping but uh, it's new and I wanted to try it out scope it out so um, all right I'm gonna work on supper and then I'll check back in a little bit okay got my fire going got my table and chair set up here and there's got my peak refuel sweet pork and rice supper hydrating and um yeah just uh sitting here waiting for supper to get ready it's about 6 45 uh it's already completely dark it's been dark for a while uh so I get off work at four and it was about a 45 minute drive here. This is, uh, I'm on the Elk River and this is probably of my last several trips, uh, which would be Kateka Creek, Flint Creek. Uh, this one's the furthest uh, from my house. It takes longer to get here. Haven't been here, uh, haven't lost at this spot before. Haven't been uh, camped here where I'm at right now. I haven't camped here before. So it's all new. Uh, didn't have a lot of time just kind of hoped everything worked out so far it has i did find a spot and i showed it to you but again it's uh somebody's you know keeping it uh, cleared off so i won't be back but uh, you know and i'm and while my supper's getting ready let me just say this uh i am on the elk river but i'm not going to say where i launched from and exactly where i'm camping and it's not to be secretive or selfish or anything like that and, and i've talked about it before i don't like doing that uh, the whole point of you know my channel is to you know show people places to go and stuff but there are some cases where you know i'm probably not going to say where i'm at because if somebody else uh, showed it to me or if it's their place you know i'm not going to reveal that um you know part of it too is um you know even if it's a place that i found um you know i don't necessarily want everybody in the world to know where this at because then it'll end up like some of these other places that i've been where you go and you find other people's trash and it gets beat down or you might find somebody there you know, and uh, so again, I'm not going to do this a lot, but, you know, I have to be mindful that as my channel grows and the longer that these videos stay out there on YouTube, the more people that will watch them and the more impact I'll have on the environment in these places I go. So, you know, I have to be mindful of that. I'm not going to like just quit telling people all together what where I go and stuff, but there will be a few places that I'll probably um, not reveal specifically. And again, it's just to protect the environment. Um, and I can understand, like, you know, not revealing, I mean, hey, you know, when you put the work in, do some research, and you go scout a place out, not every place works out, but when you find one, it's like, hey, this is nice, and, well, you don't want everybody and their dog there, but, you know, but it, you want people to know, hey, you can get out and do this, here's some areas that you can explore in public lands, and, and it is, this is all public land stuff that anybody can access, so just get on there and look around, and, you know, ask around maybe, and it's, uh... So yeah, again, it's, it's, I don't know. I feel kind of weird about it, but you know, I, I'm just, I'm trying to be, I guess, responsible and I just, I want to minimize the impact on the places I go. Um, so we'll see how that works. <laughs> anyway, waiting on supper to get ready and, uh, firewood situation wasn't real great here. Uh, a lot of it's rotten, damp. Um, so I'm not gonna have a big roaring fire all night long. I'll just have uh, but I, I will have some fire and I'll save some for the morning um, But just that it's nice and quiet and relaxing. So it's good in that sense So I'm going to wait for my supper to get ready and uh, I'll check back after supper Hey, it's about nine o'clock. Um, I'm just sitting here enjoying my fire. And uh, as expected, it's taking a little more work to keep going, but it's been fine, plenty warm. It's probably, 
right around 60, 59 degrees. Cool enough to where I've kind of put on my hoodie, but still very comfortable. Just It feels great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just in here enjoying the fire. Quiet. It's quieted down. Kind of unwinding and just letting my mind rest and decompress. And it's been great. So, anyway, going to sign off for tonight. And uh, I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning. It is about seven o'clock and about 54 degrees. And I was sleeping real good until a helicopter flew over and woke me up. <laughs> and uh, I saw the light out and uh, checked my phone and I thought, I'll just get on up. It's gonna be a beautiful fall day. And uh, do have some rain coming in later today, but like much later, I don't think it's gonna be an issue for me, but Thought, well, I'll just go ahead and get on up, get the fire started, get my breakfast going. So I got my fire going there and about to uh, get my peak refuel breakfast skillet going. I'm going to make my first cup of coffee when I get all the leaves off my table. But uh, yeah, I had a good night, slept good. Um, yeah, one of my, definitely one of my better nights of sleep. And uh, like I said, down in the mid, low 50s, I just I slept good. So uh, yeah. No issues and just going to get this morning started and uh, I want to get me some breakfast and coffee. Got my hammock taken down, everything put in the dry bags there, ready to load in the canoe. Just got my table and chair there. I'm gonna sit a little bit, watch this fire die out, then douse it with a little water from the river down there. So it's about 9.30, and like I said, everything's just about done here at camp. And I'll probably load up and shove off 10-ish maybe. It's been a good camp. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've been here. Did not scout this place. <laughs> um, I just kind of looked on Google and, and hoped that there was a spot. And it turned out there was, but mainly because somebody had kind of cleared it. I probably could have made it work. Hope y'all aren't looking at something. Okay. Probably could have made it work somewhere if somebody had not cleared it. But um, I don't know. It is what it is. But again, since somebody seems to be working this spot, probably won't be back. But there's other areas I could scout if I wanted to, so it may be worth a, a trip back to look at some other areas. Y'all do what I do. Just get on uh, TVA's website, go to their uh, undeveloped recreation map, look around, find some spots near you, and uh, you can see where uh, places that you, you know, have access to to camp. 
didn't always mean they're they're conducive to camping, but you know that's part of the adventures, <laughs> figuring all that out. Uh, it's definitely good to scout a place before, because uh, yesterday, if I had gotten out here and not found a spot, um, then I would have paddled back to the truck. But it was a short paddle; could have made it back before dark. But glad I didn't have to do that. But uh, yeah, it definitely helps to kind of scout it, put some eyeballs on it best you can. But anyway, get out there, find some places to paddle and camp and just make your own adventure and i hope y'all have enjoyed mine and we'll see you on the next one